How to insert menstrual cups and menstrual discs, the quick and easy way. Let's get going. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Jennifer Lincoln, board certified OBGYN, author and educator. And this is the health class you wish you had in high school. Go ahead and follow me and subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss an upload. Okay team, today we are talking about how to insert dun, da, 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 menstrual cups and menstrual discs. First, some really quick facts I want you to know about menstrual cups. Number one, you can leave cups in place up to 12 hours. So they're a great period product if you're not gonna have access to a bathroom or you don't wanna have to worry about changing a tampon every eight hours or pads every few hours, super cool. There's lots of different types. This is a traditional cup where we've got the cup that sits in the vagina and then a stem that you can pull out. This, however, is a disc and you can see why it's called that. It's more of a disc-like shape. They're usually reusable and that's often a reason that people will choose to use them, but there are some disposable ones like this, disposable menstrual disc. Now, when it comes to the different sizes and shapes, sometimes it's just trial and error and finding out which one works for you. Each product will usually have a guideline on it that will say, depending on your age or how many babies you've had, what size cup they may recommend, but at the end of the day, you just gotta figure it out. I do recommend when you're first trying to use a menstrual cup that you try it at home. And you can even try it when you're not on your period just to get used to the insertion and the removal. And then you can sort of ramp it up where you try it maybe at the end of your period when the blood flow isn't that much and you can put a pad or period underwear underneath it in case there's any leakage. And then once you feel like you've got it, you know what's going on, you can graduate to using it for your entire period, venturing out using it and you know, just knowing that sometimes no matter how much you practice, accidents happen and that's okay. So you might be wondering how we're gonna get this into this. And I promise you, it's not that bad. What I do wanna stress whenever you're putting anything inside your vagina, make sure it's things that can go in your vagina and make sure your hands are clean. Now you might think that getting something this size or this size is really difficult and I promise it's not. One tip that I recommend is that you can use a little bit of water-based lube on the leading edge that's going in to help get it in. You don't wanna use silicone because that can damage these products and you don't need a ton. The best thing to do is try to relax your muscles. You can do it in a squatting position or on the toilet, but just try to keep those muscles as relaxed as possible. I know it can feel easier said than done. And just like with my how to insert a tampon video, which you can check out right up there, you wanna make sure that the angle you're going in whoops, <laughs> the angle you're going in is the angle that your vagina actually is. So you can see here, it's like a 45 degree angle down towards your tailbone. It's not like you're trying to go, you know, straight this way. Otherwise you'll hit into your pubic bone. So you want to kind of angle towards your lower back. Now there's a fantastic account called Put a Cup in It, and I'm going to link to them here. And they have some great demonstrations of how you can fold this cup into something a whole heck of a lot smaller. So when you put it in, there's a lot less diameter to go in through the vagina. I think my favorite one is where you fold this down like that. And then it looks, it looks like that. So if you can see that there, that's the end that you would put in. And then as you're putting it in, what you can do is you can pop this up. So it pops into suction place and that's where all the blood goes. And then when you remove it, you break the suction, take it out. There you go. When it comes to inserting discs, it might seem totally scary, but it's actually a lot simpler. You just kind of fold it up like that. And then with squatting, here's the vagina again. You can just use this finger to push. You've got your fingers here and you go into the vagina angling down towards your back. You push it in and then it just sort of sits there and it pops behind the pubic bone. And that's literally it. When you need to get it out, you take your finger, you go under, you hook, you hold it up and then you can dump it into the toilet or the sink. Now, the problem with my model is that it's not meant to fit a menstrual cup. So I can kind of show you what the insertion looks like, but it's not as easy as with the menstrual disc and it has nothing to do with these being harder. So like I said, you're gonna fold these up. There's lots of different ways. There's a C fold, cause you can see it makes that C or that U. There's folding down. There's all different kinds of folds. The goal is that you fold it. You might have a little bit of lube and with the leading edge in the vagina, you're gonna put it in and you'll use your finger here to push it in. Now you can see I'm struggling here, not because this is actually hard, nor should it be hard, but because this model is not made to fit it. And how this is sticking out is not how it's supposed to be. This will be in your vagina and you use that to pull and to remove it out. But what I'm trying to show you is that it goes right here in the vagina and with the folding, which you can do one-handed or two-handed, it depends how handy you are. You can go ahead, put it in, and then it would sit right in there. Once this cup is in, and it needs to pop open like that. You can run your finger around and make sure it feels like it's completely open. There's that suction and then that barrier. So there's 
nothing that can leak around. And like I said, the stem should be inside. So for some people, they need to trim the stem because it's this lower in their vagina, maybe because their cervix is a bit lower or just the length of their vaginal canal. So you can trim this, but you should start off with it at this length to see kind of how you're feeling and, and know that you feel like you can actually get it out. Remember, practice makes progress. I would love to know if you've tried these, what brands you love, which ones you don't love. Drop them in the comments. Let me know your questions and know that there's lots of different options and whatever feels right for you in terms of your period product, that's the one I support for you. Until next week, bye-bye. <laughs>